Hey guys, this is John from Tech7.net, and in case you haven't heard, the Nokia N97 version 2.0 firmware is out. Just make sure you do two like this and not like this, because this in the UK means something else. Just letting you know the following video clips were not edited to make the N97 look good nor bad. I would like to mention that this particular N97 was unable to update due to the lack of region and product code support. Why am I talking like this? During the NSU updating process, we actually hard reset the N97 a total of three times twice prior updating and once afterwards. There are a bunch of people on Twitter that recommend you doing this because, I don't know, apparently it optimizes performance or, I don't know. So without further ado, here it is. The Nokia N97 version 2.0, the good, the bad, and the ugly. After a fresh restart and installing Handy Taskman, the Nokia N97 shows about 43 megabytes of free RAM, which isn't as high as I had expected. Nevertheless, the screen rotation is very snappy and responsive. A cool new feature would be the ability to move the standby clock. For some reason, this was not allowed in the previous firmware. Here it is as promised, kinetic scrolling throughout the entire phone. It works on any list as well as pop-up menus. Pretty neat. In my opinion, the scrolling still feels very mechanical. Although it does respond to swipe speed, the scrolling speed seems to be capped at one point. Notice on the iPhone the scrolling has a more organic feel. The faster I swipe, the faster it scrolls. Users have said that the Facebook application has been improved. Prior to this video, I could not get Facebook to work on Wi-Fi. For some reason, it worked while I was filming. Go figure. The application looks quite nice and kinetic scrolling is present. With the Facebook application running, the Nokia N97 has 41 megabytes of RAM. Not bad. Let's check out the web browser. I never really browsed on my 5800 due to lag. I was hoping that the N97 2.0 would fix all that. Okay, our site isn't really loading. Let's check out another page. Ah, E71 Fanatics. I've never seen this certificate pop up before. Perhaps it's part of the new firmware? I guess Nokia has to do more work. Page is frozen and RAM has dropped down to about 26 megabytes. Part of the new firmware was the addition of the newest version of OviMaps. More certificate pop-ups. The application responds with kinetic scrolling, sort of, but it's way too laggy to tell. Ah! Here comes the ugly, YouTube. S60 has been acclaimed for providing Flash in their default web browser. So I'm going to be watching YouTube on the web browser. Let's check out Left 4 Dead 2. The first one was really good. Okay, the video loads, but how do I watch it in full screen? frozen now, RAM has dropped down to 19 megabytes. I give up. 
Overall feedback appears to be positive. Many users enjoy using the new kinetic scrolling feature, so thumbs up to you Nokia. Generally, people find the phone to be much snappier. So thank you to Nokia for listening to your customers. We just hope you continue to work on the N97's firmware, not just to fix and optimize, but to make sure those with branded N97 stay updated as well. Why did I sign on to Vatafone? Why did I just talk like that? 2.0 was definitely a step in the right direction, but it is not perfect yet. In my honest opinion, just because it can do something doesn't necessarily mean that it can do it well. If basic applications such as the web browser lags or crashes, I would just probably stop using it altogether. Then I would think to myself, I just paid $600 for a device that can't even do one of the things it was designed to do, which is pretty sad. With OS's like Apple, Android, and Windows Mobile all stepping up their game, it is important that Nokia makes sure their OS and applications don't fall behind. We just want to point out that we love and support Nokia. <coughs> The main drive behind these videos is to bring attention to true user experience without all that nasty fanboy sugarcoating. So tell us what you think, share this video, post a comment below, or even make a video response. Nokia and Simin is not dead. Even though the Nokia N97 and Mamo is coming around, there's just something so charming about S60. Nokia, you guys have developed a legion of loyal fans. Sometimes they're scary. What you say about Nokia? I cut you! So don't forget about your users and we won't forget about you. This is John from Tech7.net and I'll see you guys next time. I cut you!